Raha loans and investments. So that business of yours, we want to give for you a loan that you can start it up with. Very many people are doing um, credit business today. Yes. You, 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 you can go credit wise. So he's going to take us through and uh, how, of course, we can get this loan, how we can, uh, we, we can acquire maybe the procedures, A, B, C, D. We all very well know how loans can help those uh, specifically who have ever, who have ever experienced that. Mr. Kagame, you're most welcome to West Nile TV. Uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nina. Uh, like you said, my name is uh, Thomas Kagame. I'm the founder of uh, Fraha Loans, uh, which operates under Fraha Link Ventures. Uh, I must say it's a great privilege to be here. Yeah. Uh, it's my first time here at West Now TV. And uh, I really appreciate the work you're doing as a person who is uh, a team leader for this one startup. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a a great opportunity for us in business Good. in Arua city. Uh, I, I tell friends that Arua is, uh, has the biggest potential mm. when it comes to business in this country. Indeed. Yeah. So anyway, back to Fraha Loans. Uh, ours is to bridge uh, temporary financial shortages through our Fraha Loans. Uh, we believe that our businesses and lifestyles uh, shouldn't come to a standstill just because of a mere temporary financial shortage. Uh, say uh, you're running maybe a contract and uh, you run short of fuel, you, you don't have to stop your, your works. Just give us a call, we deliver. Uh, say your, your, your parent, uh, child is sent away with school fees and probably is not going to sit exam just because of a small balance. Call us, we deliver. So we just come in to fix those uh, temporary financial shortages, mm -hmm. and uh, we do it instantly. Actually, if I say a day, a day is like t 24 hours, that's too much. We do it in minutes. Yeah, I, I think that's briefly what we do to bridge temporary financial shortages, to support businesses and individuals. Yeah, to make sure that life never comes to a standstill. Because we believe that uh, time is the fundamental measure of almost everything. Yes. Yeah, so if, if you're going to stop doing something because you just have financial or shortages or hiccups, then it will cost a lot to the project, to life, so that's how we come in. Uh, um, uh, a, a brief, a brief, maybe a brief uh, notice from you. I fear, I myself, I fear, I fear loans. How do you take that fear away from me? You know, there are very many people there who, do, of course, want to come for uh, something like that. But, of, oh, but, but also the, 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 I should say, the ethics surrounding it, hmm. they have been so wanting. So how do you convince someone there, someone like me, who is afraid of actually maybe picking up a loan to start up a business? Yes, he, he or she might be stuck, but uh, even to come for this loan is something very hard. Maybe help me and take that fear away. Uh, I, I think... Uh, for very many reasons, uh, the money lending sector has been uh, tainted with a bad image of, uh, because it's, it has some sectors of uh, probably maybe non-sectors elements of dubious lending. And uh, I think that's what scares people like you, Nina. But uh, the government has corrected that through uh, its institution called uh, UMRA. UMRA is Uganda Microfinance Regulatory Authority. Mm -hmm. So it regulates us who give uh, credit to the population. So it makes sure that there is sanity. So I think before I take away the fear, I think I have to guide you and tell you that you don't have to go to unlicensed lenders. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, just to tell the public, uh, UMRA recently on uh, Friday 17th, 17th of uh, June this month on Friday, it published a list of all the lenders which are licensed, mm -hmm. and Fraherlink Ventures is there. So I think one, uh, you have to deal with the licensed lenders mm -hmm. to to avoid uh, one being cheated, mm -hmm. two, uh, to be treated well. Because just assume you're dealing with someone who's not licensed, he can just wake up and shifts tomorrow, huh? mm -hmm. uh, and probably it's not good because uh, most of the lenders. Uh, they will need security to give you the money. Yeah, yeah. So 
uh, assuming you go to an unlicensed lender, he's not licensed, you give him your security and the following day he runs away. That's, I think that's the first guideline, choose a licensed lender. Yeah. That's one. Then two, of course, have a good loans officer mm -hmm. who can explain to you, to the core. Now first what we do at Frahaling Ventures, we make sure that we explain to our clients, mm -hmm. to the dot, one, mm -hmm. uh, why does he need a loan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it the right reasons? Mm -hmm. That's one. Then two, uh, uh, this person who needs the loan, we have to do the appraisals. Do you qualify? Mm -hmm. Do you have, uh, is, is, is your business model huh, mm -hmm. going to kind of bring these returns? Huh? Because you could say that uh, uh, you, you can come to my office, for example, and you say, Nina, uh, I want loan. Uh, I, I, I want, say, maybe to, to supply uh, maybe <laughs> ammunition to rebels <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> That's just like an example, oh, but uh, but, <laughs> but uh, I definitely know uh, that uh, the, the security by the government will intervene and it will fail. Mm -hmm. So some ideas are not viable, then others are viable. So I think one, if someone is borrowing, then you have to choose the licensed lender, that's one. Then uh, discuss with your loans officer the purpose of the loan and he also guide you actually because these are educated people. Yes. We use educated people who know about loans. He'll tell you this is profitable, this is not profitable. Then even if it's an emergence, mm -hmm. like I have an emergence, my child is saying, that's, that you, you have yeah. to support children yeah. to go to school, yeah. But if, if, if I come and I tell you, uh, if someone comes and tells me, uh, uh, I want money for, um, let me say, probably, uh, let, let, let's say, so if someone says, I want money for drinking, <laughs> we, we, can't, we can't do yeah, that. We can't give that because it's it's not, it's not the right cause. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, you, you know? So uh, I think one, uh, choose a licensed lender. Mm. Then two, talk to your credit officer. Yeah. First, we do that a lot. We talk to our clients and guide them. So I think you shouldn't fear. Mm. Yeah, you shouldn't fear. You always we always a phone call away. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we deliver. So um, what loans do you give out? School fees loans. Uh, yeah, we 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 give out. Uh, loans to uh, almost open to the general public. Mm -hmm. uh, one, so long as uh, someone is uh, engaged in uh, an income generating activity, mm -hmm. any business, we give, we call that a business loan. Yeah, business uh, loan. yeah. Mm -hmm. then there are very many people who uh, earn their bread through like salaries. Yeah, so yeah. if someone is, uh, has a job, then we can give that and we call it a uh, a salary loan. Uh, then uh, there are people who uh, s maybe school fees. Eh? Mm -hmm. We also give. Then there are also people who use their movable assets to to get loans. And like uh, uh, me, I'm, I'm I'm chasing a deal, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I I don't have time of taking you to my business in Pakwachi. Yes. But uh, here's a logbook of my car. Give me two million. And we do assessment very fast. We give. So it's uh, basically business loans and salary loans, but they can be. Uh, we, we break them down according to the use also. Yeah. Yeah. But all our loans are instant. That's the beauty. Instant. No one ever calls and say, uh, I went to Fraha and I got my loan after two days or a day. No, it's instant. We do the appraisals there and then and give the client money because we respect time. We believe it's the fundamental measure yes. of you, everything. You also do car loans? Yeah, we do. We do. How do you do salary loan? Like um, okay, uh, just like we we, we just like school I told fees you. loan itself explanatory. That yeah. I'll pick it for school fees. Uh, so how is salary loan, car uh, loan? You know mm. those things. Uh, now, uh, uh, salary loans mm. uh, are given to people who are formally employed. Say you come to our offices, Nina, and you say, I want a, a loan of, say, maybe 500,000, a yeah. million, uh, depending on what you need. Mm. Uh, for us, we ask for the following conditions. We uh, ask for the appointment letter or the mm. contract to make sure that you're working. Uh, then, too, we ask for the bank statement uh, to know whether you really have the capacity or whether to, you, yeah. yeah, to pay this money to to also see the liabilities on mm. your on your salary because someone yeah. can come and say I want a loan but he really has other loans. <laughs> mm, yeah. So it's not good to give him more loans. You'd rather advise him. 
Yeah, so uh, if you want a salary loan, we give uh, 60% of what you're earning. Mm. And the requirements are simple, uh, contract mm. and, uh, uh, and the bank statement. That simple. We, we, we're we not going to ask you for a lot of undertaking from your boss. Because well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it waste a lot of time. And uh, it will kill the the aspect of uh, being an instant loan. Uh -huh. Ours is instant. So your loans ranges from what amount? You can mm. even give billions? Uh, we, we, we wish <laughs> and we hope so. <laughs> we, hope, okay. we, we, we hope to give billions in the nearby future. That's the goal. Oh. Uh, but for now, we can give, um, we, can give um, we can give tens of millions. Wow. To, to one in video. Yeah. Can, can afford to do that. So, and, okay. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. We started very small. Mm. Didn't mm. even give her a million to mm. video. So mm. I think uh, business is it's, it's a journey, really. It's so a journey. Yeah. We can give tens of millions to one client. And, yeah. Wow. This is good. Uh, for those who have just joined us, we are in the business bank and with your host, Mina. With me in the studios is a guest. Uh, he's the proprietor, the MD for Faraha Loans and Investment. You have just heard what he has been saying. Uh, you need loans for your business. You need salary loans. You need business loans. Uh, car loans, that whatever amount you need, maybe to start up a business or something, or uh, you've run short of money, maybe any kind of emergency, you should look no further. You just uh, you you go to Fraha Loans and Investments, or even you can come to West Nile TV, and uh, we do take you there. And for those who have just joined us, I want to say thank you so much, and thank you for always following in the show. And those without start times decoder, I would say that uh, go to uh, YouTube subscribe to our channel West Now TV and stream us live from the comfort of your zone. We are on all the social media platforms. We are as well even on YouTube. Um, or, or YouTube I mean uh, your TV, uh, Facebook and then uh, Twitter at West Now TV. Thank you so much. We will go for a break. Later is when we will be uh, talking about that specific sector of the loan and how it's done in the office. Good morning. This is Business Bank. Family is not an important thing. It's everything. All family members, children of all ages, ladies in the house, and the big boys. Star Times gives your family a complete TV entertainment, reliable signals everywhere in the country, standby customer care services, most affordable and convenient subscription. Star Times, big on global, more local channel, most affordable. Star Times is with you no matter the situation. Man, wherever I am, I enjoy Chinda you with your TV channels on my phone. <laughs> enjoy a new world of entertainment with over 80 TV and radio channels plus movies from wherever you are. Download the Your TV Channels app from your app store and enjoy 30 days of free streaming with MTN. Your TV Channels, the power is in your hands. West Nile TV, lighting up the region. Uh, yeah. So why do you choose that? Uh, I, for her mm. is a Swahili word that means joy. Joy, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, when I was young, mm. I used to work in uh, my mother's. Uh, is it like a? It was like a kind of kind of. Let's say milk shop. <laughs> a milk shop. Yeah, yeah I had yeah. a milk shop. Mm. 
and uh, it was called for a and while in that milk shop, I learned really a lot. I, I learned business at a young age. Mm. Yeah, and uh, it was called for her dairies. Wow. Yeah, so we would uh, would get milk from our farm, yeah. then supply it. Well, Kampala uh, and uh, other places. Yes. So uh, it's from for her dairies that I learned a lot. Uh, it taught me business at a young age, mm -hmm. and uh, whenever I come from school, I spent most of my uh, schooling time in boarding section. So when I came back home, my mom would take a break. I think she, she at a young age, I started handling business, and maybe mm -hmm. she would leave business to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was good for her. So when uh, uh, when she retired and uh, at old age somehow she went back to the farm my parents now live on the farm mm. so kind of an african business kind of setting they stopped the business and uh, so when i was beginning business life but uh, i learned i learned business from uh, for her <laughs> for her, yeah. yeah so yeah. let me call it for her that's how that's how it became that's how the, the name came to fried adventures but also mm. Uh, the, the joy, you know, uh, uh, the, the money brings joy because it solves problems. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, 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 there's that's this the there's this meme uh, that was circulating when uh, when you when you are coming to convince. I mean, how to tell us to pick the loan? It was, it's just a meme, you know, people talk uh, too much on social media. There was this smart lady, she was all looking good and, you know, on point. She would even come and talk to you and trust me, you wouldn't, you would not reject that offer. So after picking the loan and someone who comes to pick the loan is also different. <laughs> So, like you uh, just said, furaha, uh, the furaha, I think uh, it's that moment you, you're you receiving the money. Uh, no, no, money, no. me sometimes I say money is evil. Uh, you see, now when there is no money, you mm. can be at peace, mm. you be all well mannered, mm. you know. Mm. <laughs> you can even have good plans, like, uh, oh, if I get money, I'll have to do this. If I get money, I'll have to do that. If I get money, I'll. Uh, but when you get that money, <laughs> uh, it's it's a different thing. Uh, it's a different thing and how this money goes is even you not know. Mm. You see? And 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 it is really so difficult when it comes to salary. Mm. That's why uh, they like uh, saying uh, that uh, week of salary, even water tests like yeah. like <laughs> what medicine. <laughs> Some people don't eat beans when salary comes. Yeah. But anyway, um uh money is not evil. Mm. <laughs> But uh, money shouldn't be misused. True, uh, money shouldn't. Uh, at Faraha, mm. we derive pleasure by solving people's problems. That's what satisfies us, not the money we earn. I think money is not an end in itself. It's just a means to an end. I think that's what we should learn. Mm. So if we learn that uh, money is supposed to help us reach somewhere, it's not just an end in itself, then we we'll relate well with money. Mm. So uh, at Faraha, really... Uh, the, the, there is joy in solving your problem and there's joy in payment. It's, <laughs> not, a, it's not only one way, it's a serious So, uh, <laughs> yes. How did you start this? Uh, uh, because uh, me, I would... Mingoni? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what other thing do you know uh, from that? I'm, uh, of course, I can say thank you, Aon, for, um, Baba, for bringing me here. <laughs> to so, uh, uh, how did you start uh, this? Um... How do you business. get that morale even to come here and start something like that? It's a risky business. It's a very risky business. It's risky. Yeah. So yeah. how did you yeah. start it? How do you get that idea that I should start loans and what? No. Uh, it's a very long story, mm. but I can uh, summarize it in three minutes, I guess. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I think I was now... Cut it short. Yeah. I, did, <laughs> I, I, I didn't choose to come here. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't choose the business. Mm. I think uh, for very many reasons... Uh, uh, Arua also now chose me, and uh, the, the business also chose me. Wow! I was uh, I was discussing with a friend the other day, and he was asking me, uh, "Do we own the world, or the world owns us?" Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a philosoph it's a philosophical question, but mm -hmm. we realize that the world owns us. The world so owns the same us, things yeah. that uh, Arua owns me here, and it owns you, and mm. it owns whoever is here, and even owns the businesses around. <laughs> so anyway, back to how it began. Mm. Uh, I came to Oshnala as a student in um, 
the mighty uni, money university oh, uh, money uh, university yeah, yes. i respect it so mm, much i love mm, it actually mm. uh, it's my alma mater so when i came i came on government sponsorship i was posted here i did my bachelor's in it mm. so i began the business when i was in school wow. uh, my um i think my uh in the first semester of the second year so how did he choose me uh for some reasons i'm not sure of i was famous at school or maybe the population was small <laughs> yeah yeah so mm. i would interact with a number of people so most students were government sponsored students and uh so they would get uh living out allowances but then they could have needs that they wanted to solve before the living out allowances came so uh sometimes you're maybe from playing soccer or mm -hmm. social evenings at campus yeah then a friend shares a problem man i need to clear my functional fee i need to clear my hotel bills man i need yes, upkeep yeah. but mm. allowance has delayed allowance this allowance that mm. allowance this <laughs> so it became like a a social thing something like ah, give me some 100k when allowance comes i'll give it back to you give me 200 give me 50 give mm, me 300 mm, mm. and i'll give you freely i'll give you freely without interest but uh oh. then how, how, how uh, where are you getting all the money uh, uh i think uh you're running a, a business i had a, 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 i thought i was working since since i was a little boy in my mother's shop so i, uh, I could yeah. save <laughs> yeah. i could serve a big given pennies mm. could serve, buy and more so so anyway and also the government gives living out allowances so uh, naturally uh -huh. i serve with you in a government sponsorship yeah i wow. serve with ease I, I'm, I'm not extravagant wow so time reached hmm. and um, i could give all my monies to my friends and i remained with nothing and uh, then i realized there was a problem <laughs> so but a good thing they would pay yeah yeah so the following semester i told them now guys when you take all this money, mm. I stay with nothing. And also, when I stay with nothing, another person that comes to borrow it finds nothing. So I think we should do a kind of pay it forward here. Uh, that means that if I give you money, you're going to return it with a small interest. Yes. You guys were like, yo, it's okay. <laughs> so it's you okay. started for her in school. <laughs> in school, in a hostel. <laughs> in a hostel. Yes. So I gave, uh, allowance came, Guys paid, so I thought maybe that could be the end of it. But then I was in a, a lecture room. Uh, a security man called me. The following day, driver was calling me. Uh, secretary, support staff, and just before I knew it, I realized I could actually scale this business. Wow. Yeah. So when I graduated, actually before graduation, I had, mm. I had, I had, uh, I was lucky. Uh, I was among the Huawei Seeds for the Future, so I went to China under Huawei Seeds for the Future program. We came back, they called us for paid internship. Mm. So that means that uh, after, after my university, I had like a number of options. So what we called us, there was a job there. My business was here in place. And uh, for some reasons, uh, I wanted to join the army. I don't know where the world <laughs> went. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't worried about the future after campus. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after campus, then I sit down. I have two options uh, to go for the Huawei job. Actually, there are three to go for the Huawei job, for the military, then to scale the business. Mm. So for the military part was basically patriotism. I said, but uh, I could actually serve the country better in business. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, because definitely if I start business, I'll employ someone, I'll, uh, you know, support the families, then it's like that. Then uh, for the job part, I sat and I realized that uh, if I'm to sit and also the need, huh, I realized that there was a lot of need for, okay, there, there was a lot of gap. In the macro credit sector mm, yeah. it's being it was being done in the wrong way mm. so as coming to correct those errors yeah so the weakness that uh the industry was tainted by maybe bad lenders was a strength to me mm. like now i'm going to enter in and i'm going to change the whole picture of this thing yeah so it uh, that's that's like the short story that's how it began then after i, th I think after when i finished university opened office structured up had a company in place before I was learning as myself, 
other company in place, Fire Link Ventures, mm -hmm. uh, certified it, got a license, got a few members on board. Yeah. Got a few people to put in some cash, investors and what. We are good to go. Uh, oh. So it was just a humble beginning. Humble beginning, but I still, there's, there's still a long way to go. I yes. Guess, yeah, yes. Is it is it a whole how hectic is it a whole hectic thing to start up or something? I mean, relating to loans or. Uh, yeah, I, I think, I think I think. How is the startup? Uh, it's not easy, of course. It's never it's easy. Not. It's yeah, never it's easy. It's, uh, I think I wouldn't recommend. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend entrepreneurship to one who, who can't persevere. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you have two options, you can get a job, you can do entrepreneurship, you have to assess yourself. If you know like you're good at persevering, then entrepreneurship is your thing. Because you can't scale. You can start with something like very small, then you scale it to become something big. Hmm. But if you're this person who wants a soft life, then entrepreneurship isn't your thing. So it wasn't easy. Uh, but uh, anyway, good things are not easy. <laughs> good, things good things are not things. easy, yeah. yeah. And good things are not for everyone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so if you're going to dare to do great things, mm -hmm. like uh, we are daring to do great things in Fraha, mm -hmm. to scale it up to the level that we want, to give billions like you talked <laughs> about, so then we have to be so daring. Yes. And yeah, so, we, we, uh, and it's a, it's a process. It's mm -hmm. an evolution. You keep learning, mm -hmm. you keep learning, uh, one, your clients, they keep changing, their needs keep changing, their demands keep changing. So your ears have to be open. Yeah. Yeah. So we need this, you respond. We need to be served like this, you respond. You, you know? Yeah. So uh, it, it's basically about being willing to learn. Definitely. Yeah. That's what guides us. We, we learn a lot. If, if, if we make a mistake, we, we don't strangle anyone in the office. Oh, you, you made a mistake. No. <laughs> like, so what do we take? As a lesson from this, yeah, to true. learn to, to become better, we keep evolving. So you learn from the mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Then another thing is that uh, I think we are doing a business that we love. We love to solve uh, people's uh, financial problems. Yeah. So since we love it, it's uh, uh, it makes us wake up early in the morning just to do that because we love it. Yeah. So it's just, just about it's about the love and the passion. <laughs> Yeah. I understand. Uh, this is Business Bank, my dear viewers. I thank you so much for those who have been following us keen on the stories. I'm with the MD, Fora Halons. He has said a lot uh, in that uh, particular sector. Of course, even how he started. So you could start something as well. You could start something as well. What is big was all started small. So that's all I can tell you as a tip. Um, uh, this is Business Bank, Yumbe. Thank you so much. Our greetings to you. For those who are following us right from there. Koboko, Moyo, Jumani, parts of South Sudan and DRC Congo. Even, uh, of course, our brothers and sisters from the Central. And all the fans of Business Bank. Thank you so much. Let us take a very short break. And... Uh, when we return, Mr. Kagame is going to uh, tell us the challenges, of course, that uh, they are facing in that particular sector. We all know how difficult it is. Good morning. This is West Nile TV. He must be rich, tall, handsome, from a respectable family. He must have a maid because at our home, not one. Hey, conduct some Enjoy a new world of entertainment with over 80 TV and radio channels plus movies from wherever you are. Download the Yo TV channels app from your app store and enjoy 30 days of free streaming with MTN. Yo TV channels, the power is in your hands. Family is not an important thing. It's everything. All family members, children of all ages, ladies in the house, and the big boys. Star Times gives your family a complete TV entertainment, reliable signals everywhere in the country, standby customer care services, most affordable and convenient subscription. Star Times, big on global, more local channel, most affordable. Star Times is with you no matter the situation.
West Nile TV, lighting up the region. This is Business Bank and we do this show daily Monday to Friday. Uh, 9 to uh, 10 a.m. with different business personalities with uh, uh, different businesses that they deal in. Mr. Kagame, yes. how uh, how true is it that it's women who who are so much into loans, <laughs> mm. and why? Uh, uh, I don't know how true that is. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's true. There were like uh, okay. two. Okay. We had okay. two tenants in mm. in my mother's in my mother's uh, gate. Mm. They 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 actually uh, they actually ran away because mm. of la loan. Wow. They disappeared. Wow, they probably <laughs> went to dubious lenders. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, of course, when you go to town, they tell you uh, m most of these women. Of course, they talk. They're like, ah, I picked loan the other time. You know, they're like, I picked loan, I picked loan. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, men and women who pick loan most. Mm, I think I actually have a I have a database, but according to a database, I think uh, mm. uh, we have more uh, clients than female clients, but also the female clients also pick. Mm. So when you say that, but it's us even who do who who most yeah. times do the small scale businesses. Yeah, but mm. also, but 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 also is that um. Uh, no, we, we can't quantify who, like men and women who pick more loans, because mm. it's like uh, whenever there's a temporary financial shortage, mm. people, pick, people pick. So in some months, actually, uh, women pick more than men. In some months, men pick more than women. So it's like, it's a seesaw. Sometimes it's men. So. But then the other thing is that uh, uh, it's also wrong to say that women do small businesses. Nowadays, women are running big corporations. So. Women do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but so, I mean the small okay. ones, most of them are dominated by women. Yeah. And then also those big ones, of course. Today we have boss ladies in town. Yeah, we have women who fly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's the way. And uh, that's the way. And, uh, there's men, there's, like, there's the women government. empowerment, you know? Yeah, uh, and the, the government and uh, the world over, is about to minimize special so they have empowered women or something but um i think you took maybe challenges. we need to show our viewers what happens in our office yeah yeah so take me through as we talk yeah the challenges mm, the challenges yeah definitely. um i think the major challenge is uh uh let's say we face kind of we get uh limited information yeah I limited say. information yeah, yeah that uh appraisers you need to have the right information if you're appraising people mm. and uh, that definitely means that uh, if you're giving instant loans then you have to be at the top of your game again the right information yeah, yeah. to know is this person why they give giving money this person he's saying he does this kind of business is it true it's his business mm. or it's the brother's business he understand mm. yeah uh, he says he has a job is it true he has been fired mm. then they, 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 then of course that's part of the but but the big one could be actually i think uh, multiple borrowing which is um which is i think the population also people have to be sensitized and also the organizations i think uh yeah, a person can pick a loan from a number of institutions and when they pick a loan then uh, it, it will be hard for them to service this loan yeah. So I think the challenge here is that the bank solved that by mm. having maybe financial cards. And mm. uh, for us, uh, lenders don't have financial cards yet. Mm -mm. But I, I, was, I was reading papers yesterday, and uh, no, it was on, on the Twitter page of Umrah, mm -mm. and they're thinking of coming up with uh, financial cards. So there, there is a problem of limited access to information. Limited on our access, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's, it's, it's kind of challenging. I think that's the major challenge. Other, yeah. other challenges are general for all businesses. Yeah, yeah, businesses yeah, have challenges yeah. and what, but yeah, but still we keep, yeah, we keep moving. Now that the economy is low, we all know that. How has this affected you? Uh, it has actually affected us because it affects our clients. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And, uh, 
and when the uh, customers are affected, the bosses also yeah, do. Yeah, mm. if the customers are affected, then the, the business is also affected. Yes, also the demand kind of, uh, someone would assume that the demand increases, mm. but uh, the genuine demand reduces if you're, if you're really a keen lender, mm. because business has reduced. Yeah, business has someone reduced. Someone would say that yeah. uh, people are doing like businesses, mm. bringing stock all over, but because mm. of costs, yeah, yeah. even the stock they're bringing is less, mm. even the beginning power has kind of reduced. Mm. So it has, uh, it has affected our businesses, but uh, yeah, just like we said, uh, Hopefully, we, if, 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 things will change. Yeah, hopefully things will change. Things will change and we'll you, you we'll yes. clients on a number of things. Yeah, you mentioned something. Do you know how some people pay? Mm. Even, even mm. I would borrow money from you. Mm. I would use it. Mm. I would go and borrow from my colleague there mm. to pay your money. That's <laughs> scandalous. Your own hole, your own, your own, your own I mean, yeah, when that is also, you know, I, I want my money out, I also go to the next person and borrow. And yeah. that's how I've been living that life, by the way. And it's bad. It's very bad. It's yeah. bad. And we, we try to have these honest conversations with our mm. clients. Mm. But we, we, are, we advise them. To, it's really bad because it doesn't empower the client in any way. So uh, that's the problem of multiple borrowing. Multiple and, borrowing, yeah. 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 And, uh, like you, you, you borrow from Jerry to pay Tom, then you, 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 you <laughs> from you, Joshua, yeah, from Joshua then to it's Jerry. It's, 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 it's a big problem. A so big problem. how do you? So I think. Mm. Uh, I think we were trying to engage stakeholders. Mm -hmm. if we can get financial cards. At mm -hmm. least if someone mm -hmm. has got like a number of loans, then you say so that you advise them. Yeah, you. Or probably to be mm -hmm. patient. Oh, even give them lace hmm. yeah but then you can see that someone is getting less for example one million but he already has a liability of one million somewhere yeah that are somewhere it's a problem yeah it's, it's a big challenge it's yeah yeah it's, it's a, a big, big challenge, challenge we're facing, yeah. so how are your interests yeah our interests are we give from uh 10 percent 15 percent mm. depending on how risky mm -hmm. the business is mm. yeah then sometimes twenty percent if it's very risky. Yeah, it depends on the it depends on the risk. Oh yeah. how risk business. So yeah. how low do your loans do your your loans start from? Our loans how are cheap. Even ten thousand? Our our oh, even five thousand. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, we have clients who pick ten million and have clients who pick ten thousand. So oh, it's okay. We don't I discriminate. Know. We don't discriminate. Uh -huh. We give a client what they when want. When you're stuck with border, move yeah. to some other loans. <laughs> when you're stuck with border, yeah, it's fine. Because okay. someone can be your client and then he's like, um, um, I'm actually going to pick my money, but I'm um, have trustworthy. So I know. Yeah, you give ten thousand. So we give. So you call away. A call away. Wow, yeah, we are call away. Yeah, we are <laughs> call away. And yeah. and, so uh, we can count on you anytime. Anytime. Any day of the week. Uh, Sundays are usually our day off, but on emergencies. You work from Monday to Sunday? Work on Monday to Saturday, but if there's an emergency, uh, we respond. If a client respond. calls us, like, yeah, I have a deal, I have a business, I have an emergency, where are you? We're not paying for them. Because hmm. it's about the cause. Yes. yes. Uh, how have. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining that it's obvious people must have disappointed you, mm -hmm. some of you. Uh, your customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it comes back to appraisers. Mm. Uh, we do our level base to do the perfect appraisers. Mm. Yeah, of course, you can't avoid that. They're those who pick these loans and they run away. You yeah, know? yeah, they're, they're those who pick loans. Does that happen away. to you too? Yeah, it, it happens. It happens, but it no longer happens so much. But we mm. try, to, uh, try to do appraisers so much. Then... Uh, there, there could also be some people who use things which are not theirs. Some people masquerade, say this is my business, not their business. But uh, just like I said, uh, some of these mistakes you make them when you're still starting business, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you come to learn them. So we keep learning. Good. So uh, we face those challenges, but uh, I think right now we are facing new challenges. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Because we do appraisals like very well. Ah, yeah. this is good. Meaning, uh, of course, when you plan right, all is right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Surely, yeah. If you plan so right, a quick, right. a quick one. Uh, so where do we find you? How do we find Furaha Loan? The caller ways, even uh, one thousand. These people give. 
<laughs> yeah, we give, we give, we don't discriminate. Uh, if don't problem, discriminate. If your problem is uh, 1,000 shillings, 500 shillings, we shall solve it. If your and problem no, is 5 no million, keys. 10 million, wow. we shall solve it. We are sure. Yeah. So, so we are located at um, uh, Mungufeni Plaza. Mungufeni Plaza. Yeah, it's opposite. That's your location. Stadium. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Just we're just next to Haz Petrol Station. Yes, well, has yeah, has, petrol yeah, station. Yeah. This one at the roundabout. Yeah, the, the roundabout. It's a, the road is called uh, Okuti Lane. Okuti Lane. Yeah, so that's where we are located, and uh, yeah, I think just like the way you see it, that's the building is called Mungufeni Plaza. So okay. on, on the right side is has, mm. then on the left side is, 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 is the building. After the Arua Hill Stadium. Yeah, after the Arua Hill Stadium. Mm. Yeah, your neighbors. And uh, you do operate Monday to Saturday, and Monday. unless there's an emergency, you also respond on Sundays. On Sundays, yeah, that's right. So how do we find you? Maybe your contact? Uh, our phone numbers are on the banners there, but I think uh, anyway, they can be zoomed. It's uh, 0775. Your number? Uh, yeah, 0775 yes. 12 uh, Wow, I left my phone at the reception. There are more, phone con there are more contacts there for alternatives maybe if we could uh, if they could zoom for us the contact there and we yeah, would see it on the yeah, screen yeah yeah the, the contact so there. maybe i repeat on the number yeah it's uh 775 mm, 0775 yeah 775 mm. then the airtel line is uh, 0753 yeah. you give money to Everyone, anyone who is anyone regardless. Who's engaged in an income generating activity wants to boost it, wants wow. to solve their problem. Wow. Yeah. You're stuck. Any amount. Yes. Yeah. Any amount. Any amount. You're stuck. You want to start a business. You don't know where to go. You don't know. You don't know where to run and who to run to. Yeah. Furaha for business her. is right there for you. Just yeah. the way their name sounds. Furaha yeah. Aiko. Yeah. Happiness. happiness go and receive that joy don't stress yeah, because uh, you don't have something or maybe you've run out of all the plans maybe you've made calls to friends and you see people people behave funny mm. people behave funny you, when you ask for the money for, for maybe to run a business or something maybe a help they'll not give mm. <laughs> then they say you die <laughs> these people will solicit <laughs> Well, so list the money very fast. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Kagame. I should now call you Foraha. Yeah, Foraha. Yeah, Foraha Loan. It's, it's, it's thank you so much for coming through. At least uh, I, I believe you've guided, uh, you've guided somehow the masses. Yeah. At least you've guided some of the masses because your rates are they are friendly. Yeah, they're, they're friendly. friendly. Uh, thank you. We look forward uh, with uh, working with you and of course uh, partnering with you. Thank you, Latina. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Thank you, West Nile TV. This is massive. It means to, a lot to us as the business community. It yes. means so, so much. Yes. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know, but they are big things. Yes. West Nile TV is going to empower this region like big time. We if are you here. can reach out to small businesses. <laughs> We're here like for our yeah. small businesses. So uh, we, 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 we look forward to partnering with you. Mm. Uh, we, we are going to reach that level of giving billions like you talked so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you well, so, uh, thanks for again. thank you so much we have actually uh, we have finally come to the end of the show uh, thank you so much for those who have been following us keenly uh, I want to say thank you thank you so much this same show will also run tomorrow same time as the same program and with your same uh, presenters in the subsequent series that we will be having uh, we will uh, have our studio lines open in the subsequent series that will be coming that you'll also have your call-ins and uh, uh, ask your questions that you, things that you want to know from our guests thank you for those who have been following us please do not sub do not forget to subscribe to all our social media platforms youtube west nile tv twitter at west nile tv uh, facebook uh, west nile uh, tv catch us live tomorrow again one more thing do not forget that covid is still within us please do not neglect all the sops Continue observing them, uh, wear your mask, sanitize, uh, social distance, because the rate now, the, the new news is coming in that uh, it, it is actually getting alarming. So we wouldn't want to face what we faced again. It was a whole, it was a black, it was a dark, it used to be dark days 
for the country. And for those who have not vaccinated, please kindly move to the nearest health center uh, next to you. Go and vaccinate. Thank you so much. Happy birthday for those who are celebrating their birthdays today. We are signing out. Bye-bye. Good morning from West Nile TV. It must be rich, tall, 